Greetings, fellow T-Trackers out there. This is uh, Bob Milback from uh, the Dam Track uh, Club, the Durham Area Model Train Runners Consortium. And I'm currently working on our mini yard for our public display. And what I wanted to show you guys is this new system that I just finished installing and the reason by it. Um, first, a... Uh, Shout out on this triple here that we've uh, I've built the yard on. This is a Stuart Dennison uh, module. Stuart does excellent work, and uh, I want to give him a shout out because for somebody like me with macular degeneration, it's just I just can't put glued together uh, module kits. It's just too hard, and it, for me, it's just a pleasure out there to found to have found somebody that will ship me a completed module all done and finished and uh it's a that's definitely real pleasure uh second shout out is to jim lewis from modern train technologies in florida i've worked with jim for years and i present typical problems with him in the past and he's helped resolve them this time i presented him with my problem is uh with my macular degeneration i can't see the little sliding switches on the cato turnouts and I was asking if he had something that would electrically switch them for me without those big, bulky, uh, funny blue things that Cato uses. God, I hate those. And uh, he informed me that uh, as an honest businessman, I didn't have to reinvent the wheel, Bob, because somebody else has already invented it for me. And he sent me the link to uh, Kevin Hunter's site called touchtoggles.com. And let me show you. You see these? These are called mini cups right here and the controller. And uh, they work like elevators. They're just touch toggles. I'm, I'm looking through my camera. There we go. All you do is touch it. There's not a mechanical switch. It's capacitive reactants, just like elevators. touchtoggles.com and this helps me with my situation because I can't see the little sliding switches and with my macular degeneration I can't always tell which direction the switch is and now I got a simple red or green LED and I can see that thanks for watching